Hey people, it's Nana Stoke. Uh, this is from CNBC. Historic CDC order bans evictions through the end of the year. Here's what to know. On some calls from housing advocates and cash-strapped tenants across the country, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention issued a four-month eviction moratorium on Tuesday. The order could help as many as 30 to 40 million people who are at risk of losing their homes during the coronavirus pandemic, according to estimates from the Aspen Institute. So residential evictions are temporarily hold, hold on the order to prevent the further spread of COVID-19. It applies to individuals expecting to earn less than 99,000, couples expecting to earn less than 198,000 in 2020, who will be kicked out of their homes or have to move in with family or friends. Many of the details are still being ironed out, including how the order will be enforced. Priscilla Almodovar, CEO of Enterprise Community Partners, an affordable housing nonprofit, tells CNBC Make It. But tenants will need to apply for the relief that their landlords using the decoration at the bottom of the CDC form. Tenants must demonstrate that they are unable to pay rent due to the coronavirus and that they have already used best efforts to apply all government housing aid they are eligible for at local emergency assistance programs that have popped up in states like Arizona and Virginia. Landlords who do not agree with their tenant's self-assessment can try to bring eviction proceedings by arguing that their tenant is not a covered person as defined by the CDC. It would then fall to a housing court to make a judgment which could take weeks or months. What the CDC is doing is We have never seen the federal government do something as broad as this nationwide eviction order, says Almodovar. That said, this is really just a pause, meaningful inter- for interim step, but it's a short-term fix. That's because while the moratorium applies nationwide, it does not provide any financial relief to tenants or landlords. Come January, back rent will be owed for all the months of missed payments. Exactly when it is due will be up to each landlord or tenant to work out together. A draft of the order states that landlords can charge fees, penalties or interest as a result of the failure to pay rent or other housing payments on a timely basis under the terms of any applicable contract. Landlords can still begin eviction proceedings under some other circumstances, including if they are worried about their own health, according to the Washington Post. Still, it's far more expansive than the eviction moratorium that was part of the Coronavirus Aid Relief and Economic Security Act or CARES Act for March, which banned evictions from federally financed buildings. Individual landlords who violate the order will find up to $100,000, while corporate landlords violating the order will find up to $200,000. Public health officials and housing advocates have warned about a coming eviction crisis for months. The limited eviction moratorium put in place by the CARES Act expires at the end of July, as the extra $600 per week in unemployment insurance that many people were using to cover essential bills like housing. Individual states and cities also put some protections in place, but many of those have expired or will soon. The The order delays but does not prevent evictions. Though the new policy is badly needed, it's just a half step in the right direction says Diane Yentel, president of the National Low Income Housing Coalition. This action delays but does not prevent evictions, Yentel said in a statement. To truly prevent a housing crisis, Yentel and other housing advocates say Congress must pass a relief bill with at least $100 billion in emergency rental assistance. The assistance will not only keep the house, it will ensure landlords are paid, says Enterprise Community Partners Al Modavar. Tenants will not be evicted for non-payment, but landlords will still need to pay their mortgages, property taxes and other bills. More than half of rental apartments are owned by mom and pop businesses. This is their livelihood, says Almodovar. Think of the apartments they own as their small businesses. They're not getting paid rent, which is what they need to pay their bills. They risk being foreclosed on. The Federal Housing Finance Agency recently extended the moratorium on some evictions a single-family foreclosure through December 31, 2020. The HEROES Act, passed by the Democrat-controlled House in May, includes $100 billion in emergency rental assistance. The Republican Senate's HEALS Act, on the other hand, did not include any money for housing relief. It's unclear what the House and Senate will agree on when they come back from recess, whether they'll reach a deal at all. Still, Almodovar is hopeful that Congress will come to an agreement to prevent a mass housing crisis in January when the CDC's order expire. Someone has to pay the rent, she says. And a lot of people have been saying that this is a move to further bankrupt and create a mass change of ownership of housing to the government or to corporations. And it looks like that's true because all these things they're doing just delay the payments but it doesn't give either the uh, the uh, it stop the landlords having to pay to the banks or give the tenants money to pay the landlords and the whole thing just seems incredibly unconstitutional like how can the government just basically tell them not to pay i mean just take control of the, these people's homes like this anyway please comment share and subscribe peace